I have no idea how to play Mahjong, but I still get chills when Rachel reveals her hand. Welcome to The Bright Side, a place where we talk about our favorite things. I'm Maddie, and today we're going to talk about one of my favorite up-and-coming franchises, Crazy Rich Asians. As always, I will be getting into some spoilers for both the books and the movie so I can fully express my love for them. You have been warned. I first heard about this series when they started casting for the film. I didn't give it much thought at the time, but once I saw the trailer, I was in. I knew it was based on a book series, but I ended up seeing the movie first. It was spectacular. I immediately fell in love with the characters and the beautiful setting. I also loved that it explored the themes of Asian identity, culture clash, and the importance of family. Not long after, I read all three books and I fell even more in love with the series. I'm so happy that this movie did well and that the sequels are in the works. Crazy Rich Asians feels familiar yet unique at the same time. It is a rom-com, but it's not exactly your typical boy-meets-girl scenario. Instead, it's about a couple trying to stay together when they come from vastly different backgrounds. Rachel Chu, the main protagonist, was raised by a single mother in the US, while her boyfriend, Nick Young, was educated in Britain and comes from a ridiculously wealthy family in Singapore. Nick's family, especially his mother Eleanor, is dead set against Rachel because she doesn't come from money, she's American, and she's not familiar with their way of life. While Nick and Rachel do find a way in the end, these conflicts still remain. As the series goes on, the focus shifts away from romance and more toward family, money, and status. In the second book in the series, Rachel finds out her biological father is a billionaire, and the final book mainly revolves around the young family's inheritance. So these themes also make their way into the film adaptation through the comparison between East and West. The struggle is perfectly personified through Eleanor and Rachel, and it's utterly fascinating to watch. The movie focuses on Rachel and Nick, but the books dive into several other characters, their backstories, and subplots. Having so many fleshed out characters with different points of view gives the story a lot of depth and intrigue. As fans of the books know, Astrid has a much larger subplot involving her ex-fiancé and her husband, Kitty Pong undergoes quite the transformation, and even Pei Lin gets to go on her own journey. And that's just the characters we meet in the first movie. As the series goes on, there are even more eccentric characters and crazy schemes afoot. While you can only fit so much into a two-hour movie, hopefully some of these storylines will make their way into the sequels. Currently, we only have one film, but so far, Crazy Rich Asians holds up whether you watch it or read it. This is also one of the few times where I would recommend watching the movie before reading the books. The movie is meant to stand alone, whereas the books feel much more like they're part of a series. And once you read one, you won't want to wait to read the next one but it's easy to appreciate the story in both mediums. I especially like the books because of all the different storylines and details that can be explored in a novel. There's a lot more history woven into the plot that you don't really have time for in a movie. The books also aren't limited by reality, so there are plenty of elaborate descriptions of lavish clothing, dazzling parties, and impossibly luxurious private jets. At the same time, the movie is able to show you the sheer spectacle of such a rich lifestyle. There's also a lot of great moments in the movie that aren't even in the books, like the family making dumplings, the mahjong scene, and Araminta wading through a water-filled aisle at her wedding. Whichever medium you choose, you are in for a treat. Crazy Rich Asians is a fun franchise that anyone could enjoy, but it's also so much more than that. It was one of the most successful rom-coms in the last decade, and the first big American studio film to feature an all-Asian cast in years. Its success has opened the door to more Asian-led projects in Hollywood. As an Asian-American, I'm so grateful that this franchise exists. It may be a while until the sequels are released, but on the bright side, that gives everyone time to catch up and read the books. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to see more videos like this. If you want more nerdy content, head to The Daily Fandom, which is at thedailyfandom.com, where we post everything for fans by fans.